In this video, we will demonstrate closed reduction of a dorsally displaced distal radius fracture. Necessary equipment is set up as shown. Longitudinal traction is used to disimpact the fracture while the assistant pulls counter traction at the elbow. Palpate the fracture site with the thumbs and exaggerate the deformity with hyperextension. Whilst maintaining traction, apply flexion and ulnar deviation to realign the fracture to anatomical alignment. The assistant holds the wrist in flexion and ulnar deviation to maintain reduction in preparation for casting. Cotton band is applied with 50% overlap, making sure to pad pressure points. Two rolls of POP are applied, starting proximal to the knuckles and ending distal to the elbow crease. Molding is applied distal and proximal to the fracture site, as shown, until the cast is firmly set. Care is taken to ensure the thumb and knuckles are free from the cast and have full range of motion. The knuckles are visible on the dorsal surface. The patient here is able to make a fist and the proximal palmar crease is visible on the volar surface. Two more rolls of POP are used for reinforcement and molding is repeated until the cast is set. Post-reduction radiographs show adequate reduction. Thank you for watching. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel Plain Author for more upcoming videos.